A good late morning, everybody. It is January 11th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. And this is the aftermath video of this recent storm. And I wanted to share just real quickly something with those of you who love me very much. Um, I got an email from the booking producer at Fox Weather. And, and I just wanna read it to you guys because I'm like super excited and super nervous. So my name is Bianca and I'm a booking producer with Fox Weather. First and foremost, we hope you and your family are safe amidst the threats in your area. I wanted to see if you were available to join us this weekend for a live virtual interview to discuss the impact of, that the storm conditions have had on you and Big Bear. The interview will be three to four minutes long and we can connect via Skype, FaceTime, a phoner, or send our custom interview link directly to your email and all you have to do is click to initiate the call and your cameras. Happy to hop on a quick phone call to further discuss and answer any questions. Thank you, best Bianca Byers, booking producer for Fox News Weather. Um, holy crap, <laughs> that's, I, it, it's, oh my gosh. Why would I get like, e like emotional over that? But like, it's, it's I, I just never thought that what I do anyway before I lose it this is the aftermath video um, I hope I represent this town very well and I hope I'm, I'm I make them proud I really do <sighs> anyway yeah I'm super excited but yeah, so we're going to do a complete valley tour, you guys. So once again, you'll be able to see what I've coined as the Big Bear Snow Rule. See that application here. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's just basically showing you how one side of town gets significantly more snow typically than the other side. And I mean every time. Every time we get a winter storm, it's the exact same thing from... It's an eight mile difference from the dam to the opposite end. And it's the same elevation, but one side of town gets a lot more snow. And we're going to the a lot more snow part of town right now first. And then we're gonna take Highway 38 into Fonskin, and then Highway 18 to the back side where you're about to head down to Lucerne Valley. wiper fluid inside the car so I need to be conservative about what I'm using here yeah there's a few cars in town but nothing nothing out of control nothing out of control so basically we're gonna be heading in the direction out of town. We're heading towards the Big Bear Dam right now. It's currently uh, 33 degrees at 11.45 in the morning. I guess we could have gone through the village. I, I didn't even think about that, but we go through the village every day. every time we do a video for the most part. But it's one of the most beautiful, cute parts of town, you know? So why wouldn't we? So I'll do a short to let you guys know when and if I'm even gonna be on the news for a three or four minute interview. If I can talk for this long on these videos, then I'm sure I shouldn't have any problem, but I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous, because that's like millions of viewers. And I'm not gonna shamelessly plug the channel and stuff, but somehow I have to figure out a way to at least let people know where they can, you know, if they like what I had to say, they can continue getting information about this area. I think that would be pretty darn cool. 
And who knows what could happen from doing these interviews. I assume only good things, you know? But wow, like, to be considered to represent this town like that from a major news source is uh, is quite a compliment. Makes me feel dang good. No signal. telling you guys if you just follow your passions in life and not caring about the money and not caring about anything like that just do what you love to do and try to seek happiness that's the best advice I can give to any of you who want to live like at least a halfway sane life and a halfway happy life at least because life is tough every day it's tough it's a fight every single day and it took me many many years to realize that you know what I was always doing the wrong thing I was always seeking the money and no wonder why I was never happy even at times when I was making good money I was miserable couldn't couldn't have cared less if I crashed my motorcycle or anything like that and sometimes I would Subcon well, it wasn't subconscious, it was consciously thinking about like and hoping that you know I, I'd go down on my motorcycle, but it would be instant. You know, I don't have the courage to do anything like that to myself, I never would. I wouldn't put other people that I love in that position. But I'll tell you what, like, life is not easy, and life is still difficult, you guys. It is still super difficult every single day. But it's so much better because I do what I love to do every day. And it still takes time and effort, but it's something that I get to wake up in the morning and say to myself, holy crap, you get to do this today. Not, oh, I have to go to work today. That was my attitude in the past. So, I really wish every single one of you happiness in your life and each and every single second of each and every single day because that's what you have to strive for because you know happiness is not going to come every second of every day we're only human we're going to go through a variety of emotions daily but it's about trying to do the best you can to make as many of those moments happier moments and I know I'm I'm preaching to the choir. I know all of you know this already. But I mean, I'm a prime example. You you guys have seen me grow and seen me turn into who I am today over the past 8 plus years. And you guys know how passionate I am about this. I love this so much. You guys know that and you guys see that. So me being able to share these uh, I guess minor accomplishments or even in some cases major accomplishments with you guys and even my failures because I do take a step back but then I take two steps forward you know 
uh, it, it's it means a lot to me that I can share these things with you guys because I don't want anyone to lose hope out there. I've lost hope before. It's not a fun feeling. But with little things like this, like a news station wanting me to be on an interview to discuss our town and the impact the weather's having on the town and stuff like that, it's just, it's just amazing. So never forget, guys, I'm, I'm always here for you. I'm always here for you, and you guys have clearly always been here for me. We have a bunch of really good, great people on this channel, actually. Great people on this channel. I love each and every single one of you so much. Okay, so we are getting close to the dam. And the temperature is still 33 degrees. I think we were supposed to get close to 40 today at some point. I can't believe it. They want my dumb butt to be on the news. That's just so cool. In three or four minutes, that's a segment, you guys. That's not like like uh, the, like a few of the 10 or 15 second clips that I've been on the news. That's, this is like a segment. And, and when I've been on the news up here, it's because like I saw the news truck and I pulled over and convinced them to let me talk. That was nerve-wracking, too. <laughs> One of the times I was, like, plugging this channel, <laughs> which I don't even do with you guys, but I was plugging it, and I thought that I was going to see all of that on the news, but they cut all of that out. <laughs> what they did was uh, keep the uh, part where I was talking about how unsafe it is for people to have tire chain or to park in the middle of the road and put tire chains on and it, it it almost looked like I was a total jerk because I was like I was frustrated with people parking in the middle of the road to put on tire chains and I came off as like kind of angry and I didn't really like that too much because I'm not angry with you guys personally I don't want you guys to get hurt that's the whole thing Anyway, we're stuck behind the snow. Plow, 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 plow. Plow, 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 plow. Okay, he's making a U-turn, thankfully. And this guy up here in the Honda is super impatient. But that's a really nice Honda. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, you know what? They're probably doing rock slides and stuff like that too right now. So that where we just passed is typically the snowiest part of town, but you can see there wasn't much snow. I was right again about the inch prediction. I hate to be right about that stuff. I really do, because I want the regular professional forecasting to be right. Especially when it's like hours out when they're forecasting it. I mean, if it's, if they're forecasting it like 10 days in advance and then when we get closer to the time they adjust it that's one thing but when it's like eight hours short of when we're actually supposed to get hit and they're still saying like five to eight inches and then i said no nope, one inch it's it's and it's not just like i'm guessing it's because i i look at the radar and then i just make uh not so educated guess <laughs> Thank you.
but I know how it is up here too. It's very difficult up here to predict weather, especially in the back of the mountain range, which is where we are. All these storms hit the front of the mountain range first, obviously, and the mountains just desecrate and push the storm off in a different direction, and it just is not good for our storms back here. If we were at this elevation over by where Crestline is, guys we would get so much snow we would get I would think close to twice as much snow if all this rain was snow even at, at this elevation that side of the mountain range gets a lot more precipitation than we do because as I said that a lot of the moisture gets squeezed out of these storms from the first general lifting part of the storm when it hits the front of the mountain range and then San Gorgonio takes a bunch of it too. Bastard. Damn San Gorgonio. We're still at 33 degrees. This is where we're at, according to the lake. These snowplow guys do such a terrific job up here, you guys. I, I, that's why I'm, I'm always feeling so comfortable for you guys when you guys get here. Coming up and down the mountain, they still do a great job, but it's not as much. I mean, yeah, they're still busting their tails, but it seems like in the townships, they're actually uh, a lot more trucks going because there's only so much they can do going up, up and down the mountain. But in the towns, it's easier to turn around and do things like that. And, go back and then come back and go back at least that's my perspective I could be wrong I've only been right once so I'm probably wrong here's some Lakeview fawn skin homes or actually I think this is still considered Big Bear Lake or maybe no maybe not like I think these guys are just on their own this is just whatever they want to call it. Fawn Lake. Fawn Bear. Obviously, I'm joking about that, but... I usually have the camera always pointed over here at this lake when we're driving right here because it's so pretty. And I have to say, it feels like, even though it's not much, it feels like there's been an impact to the lake because of all this rain. It's still really low, but because I do this all the time and my eye is used to seeing something, it looks like the beach has backed up a little bit, you guys. Woo now, wouldn't that be great? Some of these homes in the woods up here. I guess we're all in the woods. All right, guys, it's high noon. There's no insinuation there. It's just high noon. Take it easy. All right. Thank you, Mr. Plow. You the man. Saving saving people's lives. That's what they're doing. That's saving people from car trouble. empty property that would be nice to uh, look into that or right here to see what they're selling it for and one of the best views in all of town right here 
this is just amazing. That house right there, those lucky people. Lucky people. We're getting close to the eagle habitat. This guy's turning left right here. Where are you going, buddy? It's weird because I've never really seen anyone turn left here. Eagle habitat, folks. This is where you see those eagles from the YouTube channel. Their nest is up there somewhere. Yeah, back to the lake it it did I mean as I said because I see it every day my eyes are used to seeing it a certain way and it just looks like there's a little more it looks like there's less beach not much please do not don't don't get it too excited but it looks like we're going in the right direction let's, let's just put it that way and now we're in font scan downtown Fonskin. There's the post office. Cheerio. Some movies have been filmed here. Look up the movie Jack Frost. It's horribly produced, but it's got some famous people in it, and it's filmed right there, right outside. A lot of it. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know it. I was just watching it and then I, I flipped out. And when I noticed where they were, I couldn't believe it. And then I looked it up just to make sure, and sure enough, Fawn Skin, California. <laughs> it's a horror movie, by the way, you guys. It's a Halloween movie. You would think it might be a Christmas movie. That guy had a hockey puck walking his dog, or a hockey stick walking his dog. I wonder if he's like slap shotting the poop somewhere. <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys saw that though, right? Coming out towards the end of Fawn Skin. Here's another nice lake view. It, it, it does look like a little bit that the, the beach is receding. So that's, that's good news. As I said, I, I'm not 100% sure. It's just, it's, it's looking a little bit different than it has. So let's all keep our fingers crossed that that's the case. Because if you guys remember when we had some of those strong monsoon storms this summer, um, I thought that would impact the lake significantly. I mean significantly and to come to find out that not only did it not impact the lake but the lake was still losing the same amount of water every day kind of a bummer
some really nice homes over here right on the lake. I would love to live on in one of these homes on the lake here, but it's just too far from everything. Oh, here we go. We got some road work going on here. Okay, cool. Look at the snow plastered on that sign. You can't even see what it says. Passing some of these campground areas, like Serrano will be right up here on the right. You can see all these park benches and stuff through here. There's campsites everywhere up here, you guys. I mean, everywhere. Yeah, we're going a little fast right now, but there's no one out here. And I don't want this video to be way too long for you guys, but I just want you guys to, once again, get used to knowing where we get the most snow in town and where we don't. Because I know most people come up here for the snow. Okay, temperature is rising, 34 degrees. We're already almost to the opposite end of the lake. I don't even drive that fast when there's no snow and ice. That's crazy. Maybe my excitement is just a little overwhelming right now. But as I said, there's, there's no one on the road right now. I would never put other people in danger. Myself, that's one thing. This curve right here, I've seen a lot of people end up over the edge here, so we gotta be careful right here. A lot of people down in there. Let me just make sure I don't see anybody down there. Good, I don't. Another beautiful lake view coming up here, guys. Hopefully it looks good for you guys. And a view of Snow Summit and Bear Mountain. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I never really show what's right across from that view because I'm always focused on the extreme beauty. I just screwed up the window. Now we're not gonna have a great view. I rolled it down. Now look at that, it's horrible. Here's a boat launching area in here. All right guys, so we're about halfway done with this drive. Passing Stanfield Cutoff now. We're heading into Big Bear City. And we're coming up to the spot where I crashed my car. I'll point it out to you guys again. Not this car, my cross track, which will be fixed at the end of the week. right up to it right now this next driveway I believe it's this next driveway yep all right here there's no one back of me someone was stopped right here to turn left and right here I ran into them to turn left into there boom smashed them and thank God she was okay that's the first accident I've ever been in and it was totally my fault I was not paying attention 
I wasn't texting, but I was talking on the phone to my wife. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I ended up crashing. So guys, the further we go this direction, the less snow we're gonna run into. And I like doing these full valley tours because a lot of you come in from all different directions. So I want you to know what, what, what you can expect, especially because a lot of you do have a fear of driving on these mountain roads. And I don't blame you. It can get pretty hectic up here. Coming up to Division Road. There's Bear Mountain. Looks at, look at how beautiful the snow looks up there. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Here's Division Road. This is another way to get from the North Shore to the South Shore. You turn right here. Now we're technically in Big Bear City. thing is because I am I'm, I'm going a lot faster than I usually do there's a uh, everyone behind me is keeping up with me <laughs> so hey I'm in the front of the line if usually they'll pick someone out from the back to give a ticket I really can't afford a ticket I don't want a ticket but this is, I, I don't know if I do I can't get mad because it's my fault but I'm really not going that much over the speed limit. I'm going five miles an hour over the speed limit right here. I know it seems like I'm going way faster, but it's 40 miles an hour the speed limit and I'm going 43. So I'm not even going five miles per hour over. But when I look at the camera, it looks like I'm going a lot faster. I say oh no because I don't like to miss her calls. Not because it's my wife calling me. Jeez, get your minds out the gutter. I love you too, baby. I am about to head into the Baldwin Lake area on Highway 18. So it's still gonna be another at least probably 30 minutes till I get back. Just showing everybody the Big Bear Snow Rule and how much snow we got from this last storm. I love you very much, honey bunny. Paradise, this street right here, is another way to get from the North Shore to the South Shore. And now you have no other option. Uh, there's no other way to get from here to there without driving all the way around. And that's what we're gonna do, drive all the way around. love this huge prairie area it's so beautiful it really is it's just oh it's so beautiful there's so much space up here to, to like uh not that i want it to happen but to build and uh just have more homes up here and i mean we could have like a i don't know a couple really nice a few more nice communities up here or some some really nice amenities would be nice I love Big Bear's lodging, don't get me wrong, but it's all average stuff. Like there's there's like nothing for like people who want to like have that five star type of experience. There's just nothing like that up here. Which is shocking because it's the only snowy area really, like besides Wrightwood area and stuff like that in, in, in Southern California. And tourists from all areas come up here. But we only cater to like, uh, we don't give you the option to stay in, in a Ritz-Carlton Big Bear or like something like that. Obviously nothing like that would work up here because it just, I don't think 
that it would, but if, if somebody built their own little five-star lodge, I think it would do very well. I think it would do very, very well. Okay, look, you see all this snow down here? All of this is going to melt and it's gonna look like a lake here for about a week and a half or two weeks. If we would have got, well, so since we have more more weather coming in. Wow, that's a lot of coverage, you guys. This is all, so that, that looks like a frozen lake now. It is so cool. And it technically is a little bit of a frozen lake. So, uh, oh my gosh, that is so cool, you guys. With this next storm coming, we could, this whole thing could be a humongous lake for a couple weeks. And I'm really, really hoping that that is the case. As you can see, there's hardly any snow over here. This is the opposite side of town where I tell you we don't get nearly as much snow. Temperature's 36 degrees. <laughs> Temps are climbing. But I'm telling you, that all that water out there, and it's just gonna be more and more after this weekend. I can't wait to see what it looks like for you guys. And I haven't done a drone video in a while, so I need to do a drone video. I'm just worried because I don't really know many of the laws or... Um, I know don't f fly in the flight path, stuff like that, and um, but I like to go really high. I like to go really high in the drone because I like you guys to get a really good bird's eye perspective. Look at this, guys. There's no snow over here to the left. None up there. Look at that. Nothing. This is the Big Bear Snow Rule, guys. In effect, just like every storm. I mean, it's, <laughs> it feels like you're down the mountain. So we're gonna drive through Baldwin Lake and come back into where Highway 38 and Highway 18, Big Bear Boulevard meet up. So little snow. All right, you guys, here we go. We're turning on Baldwin Lake Road. It's a pretty view donkey crossing jackass I didn't cuss guys that's what they're called jackasses all right hey who said me come on take it easy okay so let's try to get as good of a lake view over here as we can do you guys see all that water in there I'm telling you that's so pretty when this area becomes like lakefront property like this for a few weeks out of the year. It is spectacular. Just spectacular. But guys, isn't this crazy? We're the same elevation. We're just eight miles away from the dam right now. The dam is all the way that way through those canyons, through those canyons over there. The dam is all the way that way, eight miles from here. And you saw there's there's significantly more snow over there, but because we didn't get much snow at all, it's it's not a, I mean, it's a huge difference, but there's still hardly any snow over there. There's a, there's a scent over here right now that's like bringing me back to my childhood. I can't figure out what it is. Anyway, we'll focus.
focus back over here for a little bit so you guys can see uh, once again how little snow there is. 36 degrees. This is where we are. As you can see, it shows a lake over here. That's Baldwin Lake, but we, but usually there's no water in it. As I said, just for a couple weeks out of the year, it hasn't happened every year that I've been here, but most years there has been a lake there for a few weeks. And that looks like it's gonna happen again this, this season, especially after this next storm. And then once it warms up, it's gonna be beautiful. Can't wait to do the aftermath video for the next storm. Got some big beautiful houses here in fawn skin especially in the hills up there otherwise it's pretty inexpensive to live out here because no one really wants to live out here it's far away from everything it's really really windy all the time power goes out all the time over here because of the wind yeah it's really 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 windy because there's not much to block the wind not many trees especially where most like most of the homes are down here there's really nothing to block it That's a massive house right there. Wow. Whoa. Joey Buttafuck over here. Wow. Thanks, Mom. I love you very much. Thank you for the support. You're freaking awesome, as always. I'm probably going to wear my beanie on the news interview, even though I know that's kind of unprofessional to wear a, a beanie, but, you know, I think they'll understand why. I think they'll understand why. And it is Big Bear. It's not like it's uh, Beverly Hills or something. So they're, you know, but I will dress up nicely for the interview. I love you. <laughs> My mom is so adorable, guys. She's so adorable. Hang on, guys. We gotta call the wife real quick because I, because I, I did miss her call. Free sledding area, right off the of Shea Road, right here. I'm I'm recording right now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Driving to one of my houses, the oh. house that I sent you the address to. Oh, I didn't get it. Well, maybe I did. I'm just focusing on on the road and how little snow there is in Baldwin. But the further we go this oh direction, my gosh, it's all over further we go in this direction you guys on our way back to Big Bear Lake the more snow we will fall into here but yeah it's the same thing every time I'm showing them the Big Bear snow rule uh, <laughs> sorry yeah that's nasty babe do you want me to call you back yeah I'll call you right back all right I love you okay. bye all righty She's getting sick. Again. Last night she had like 101.9 fever. I hate that. I hate that. But the good thing was she she wasn't really feeling ill. But we're taking as many precautions as we can. <clears throat> she doesn't she doesn't want to get me sick. 
again and I don't want her to get sick. So this is called Shea Road. I'm not making any turns, you guys. Like I'm, I'm just taking the main roads. You know what we will do? There's a little area that I never ever show you guys, which is just a beautiful little area through here. I think I'm gonna show you guys. We turn on a uh, it's like South Big Bear Boulevard or something like that. It's right before you get to this stop sign. I can't remember what this uh, road is called. East Big Bear Boulevard, okay. So we're gonna turn on East Big Bear Boulevard so you guys can see a little hidden gem of this town. It's a beautiful little area that not a lot of people get to see, especially because I don't go back here and I should. It's just a big open area with uh, some equestrian stuff. It's, 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 it's really, really nice. There we go, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. distance all those horses out there horses and cows and donkeys I don't know about cows but definitely horses and donkeys look at this area guys isn't this awesome you can't see this area from any of the main roads so that's why not many people get to see it but it's a beautiful part of Big Bear and obviously it's lined with houses over here but forget about those this is what we want to look at. All the really beautiful things. Look at all these equestrian areas here. It's a dead end over here. We're gonna turn right on wagon trail, or wagon wheel, sorry. Now, this is beautiful. This is beautiful over here. That's some really nice homes up here, guys. Some biggins. Some biggins. We're gonna turn on Malabar, because we can't really go up here, I don't think. That's Rodeo. Rodeo or Rodeo, however they want to pronounce it. Target, Target. Okay, we're gonna turn on Zaka Road and head back to Highway 38. Get one more look at the horsies over here. Hey, horsies. Hey, horsies. All right, we're on Zaka Road. We have a good friend on this channel who lives right here. 
on Zaka. Such a cool dude. He and his wife are awesome. They watch the channel too, which is really cool. So this is where we're at according to the to the map of the town. Doesn't don't both those lakes look like a shark? Like on the right, it's the shark's tail. Oh man, it just went out of view for us. All right guys, this is Highway 38. This is taking you guys out of town. We're gonna head back into town. We are back in Big Bear City, folks. coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. So we're gonna turn left. And then take this all the way back to Moonridge. As I said, we didn't get much snow out of these, these storms at all, but you'll see more snow coverage over here and the further we go this direction. This is the way up to Sugarloaf. Turn left. There's two, two ways, three ways in actually, but two off the road. Um, if you want to take Moonloaf from Moon Ridge into Sugarloaf, you can, but it's an off-roading experience, and I don't suggest doing it unless you have the right vehicle. And this is the right vehicle. And sometimes it gets bad up there with with the just from like people spinning their tires. There's just deep, deep spots. You don't want to be like platforming up there. like this little part of Big Bear City. It's just untouched, really. Just a bunch of trees and empty land. Staples in town, community market right there. This is the part of town that was the main part of town for a long time. For many, many years. I want to say in like the 50s, 40s and 50s and 60s probably. And then once the resorts were built, not too long after that. Real quick, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. You guys, I'm telling you, for the, for those of you guys who smoke and um, want to find some like little Big Bear trinkets and stuff like that, 
That place is awesome. A friend of mine owns it. He's a good dude. So I, I always like to refer you guys to him. Big Bear Smoke and Vape. He has two stores in town. He's got one here in Big Bear City and one in Big Bear Lake. Um, yeah, and then I, I forgot what I was saying prior to that, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'm sorry. So sorry. wife's old house was right down this street I miss having both houses it was nice because half the week we would stay at my house and half the week we'd stay at her house so it's just it's just nothing ever got stagnant in terms of like living situation you know it's it, it, it like felt like we had a vacation home half the week <laughs> it was really cool and then when she got rid of it, they basically doubled the rent for the next people. And um, because that's what's been happening up here. So then I felt even worse because we totally lost out. She had like a, a good sized two story house. She was paying a thousand a month for. And now it's about two grand a month for that place. I think it was a mistake for us to get rid of it. As I said, it's not like we were living separately, but it was nice to have that extra spot. A different perspective on things. Because, you know, living the life of, of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, is horrible. So it was really nice. It was freeing. It was great. A lot of you told me that this Motel 6 was over $300 a night during these storms. And I was telling you guys, well then I'd, I would have rather just gone to the ER <laughs> and stayed there. Said I'm sick. And I'll check out at 9 a.m. But actually, it's not that bad. It's really not. And then right next to it is Snowplay. You got a bunch of people there, right? Not a bunch, but a, you can still have a great time. Over here to the right, you guys, one of my favorite parts of town, an empty prairie area. And my, my favorite neighborhood is right over there. I think it's called Bear Loop. They've got some massive, massive homes there, but it's just where where it's it's located on this empty prairie area and all of their views are, are of the ski resorts up here. It's just beautiful. All right, guys, we're coming into Big Bear Lake, exiting Big Bear City. Stanfield Cutoff is the next stoplight up here. Come on, give me a little more water. A little bit more. That may have been enough to help. Gas price is 404 for the cheap stuff. What is going on here? Is there an election coming up? Are they trying to BS everybody again? Wow. That's really good to see. But look at diesel prices. Holy moly. Six bucks a gallon. Coming up here in a little bit, right around this left bend <clears throat> is a very, very beautiful view of Snow Summit. It's my favorite because it just pops out out of nowhere. If you're a tourist coming up here and you're not expecting it, it's like, wow. 
Look at that. Look at that. That is so beautiful. It really is so beautiful. Stater Brothers parking lot. Vaughn's parking lot. A few other stores, of course. But anyway, I think we're going to cut the video out now. But thank you guys for cruising the whole town with me. I mean, we missed a couple neighborhoods, but for the most part, we did the whole valley. And uh, yeah, as I said, thank you guys very much for cruising. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I enjoy having you guys here with me all the time. It makes me super happy. I'm grateful for each and every single one of you every day of my life. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. It's January 11th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. I'll let you guys know about that new stuff.